got this entire haul that I'm about to show you of clothes for zero dollars and zero cents. And I'm not lying. If you know anything about me, you might know that I love not spending money. It might be one of the greatest joys in life. Particularly spending actually no money, like zero dollars, really just gets me going, man. For many years now, I have been using Poshmark. This video is not sponsored at all by Poshmark, but honestly, I feel like they should be paying me because I've mentioned them in a lot of videos recently. Just saying. But I use Poshmark because it is a really nice way to avoid your clothes ending up in a landfill, things that you're reselling. And something that I haven't delved into too, too much on Poshmark is actually buying items on Poshmark. I've purchased a few things here and there for sure, but never anything extensive. And so I got this entire haul that I'm about to show you of clothes for zero dollars and zero cents and I'm not lying because I've been using Poshmark for a long time they have a really amazing like referral system basically I think every time you refer someone to Poshmark and they sign up and either put something in their closet or purchase an item I believe you get five dollars so I checked my Poshmark like towards the beginning of the year just out of curiosity and I saw that I had seven hundred and one dollars of credits to use so I thought, okay, I've got to find an excuse to make a video. And in turn, I'm supporting small businesses because I'm buying from these shops. I might end up gifting some of these to friends and family, but I thought I'll just show you guys a haul of everything I picked up. I'll be mentioning the shop names that I bought them from, all that good stuff, I've got you covered. So the very first item here is a vintage Disney sweatshirt. I love anything vintage Disney. I don't care if it's weird that I'm 32 years old and buying Disney clothes. I'm actually quite pleased with my decision. I'm kind of like the fun wine ant that goes to Disneyland, you know? That's kind of like my 2020 vibe. And so I picked up this sweatshirt. This is, I would guess, if I were to have to guesstimate, probably from like the 80s or 90s, and it's got all these different Mickeys on it. It's just so, so cute. It is authentic. It is from the Disney catalog. The size tag is cut out, which I'm not sure why, but I would guess that it's probably like a women's extra large. It's nice and oversized. I actually did wear this to Disneyland yesterday, and this is from the shop called Vintage Junk, Vintage J-U-N-Q-U-E. It was $28, so not too, too bad. Usually when you go to the Melrose Trading Post or the Rose Bowl Flea Market, you will find a lot of items equally priced to this, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this, so that's an amazing item. One thing I also forgot to mention, the only kind of bone I have to pick about Poshmark is because you're purchasing items from each seller, you are getting like individually packaged items, which is kind of wasteful. I don't really know if there's a way to avoid that though. And another thing I will say is that Poshmark encourages their sellers to package their items very cute, like they're like throw a ribbon on there, write a handwritten card, put your own finishing touches on it. And one thing I noticed was when I was opening all of these packages, there was so much waste. The items would be wrapped in like this plastic that was sealed, then with a ribbon over it, there was tissue paper, there was glitter in there, there was cards, stickers, so many different things that ended up just going in the trash or the recycle. And I just don't think that it was necessary at all. I just like really can't stop noticing that lately. And so opening these was literally like two trips to the dumpster out back. Like that's how crazy the trash situation was. That's kind of one thing I wanted to mention. I guess even though it's sustainable in the fact that you're buying secondhand and you're supporting a small business, it is kind of wasteful, which did make me feel bad. So I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think, but that is something that I could not go any further without mentioning. The next item I picked out, I'm kind of torn about these. I'm not 100% sure. I did pick up some vintage overalls. This is by the brand Bum or B-U-M. Straight up from the 90s, they are these amazing kind of baggy overalls, but because I got them in an extra large, I am a mid to plus size gal. I don't really think these are exactly the way that they're supposed to fit on me. However, they are really cute still. I don't I don't know why we spend so much time like comparing our bodies to model photos or thinking that we have to look a certain way in something. I think when I tried these on at first, I was like, oh no, these are not gonna work. These are not gonna work at all. They're not flattering, quote unquote, on my body whatsoever. But then I was like, you know what? I feel cute in them. Like, who cares if your stomach shows a little bit? 
Girl, we all got stomachs. I just think these are a really cute pair of overalls. So I think I am going to keep them. I think I just need to get over that and I'm working on it. Just being fully honest, when I did try these on for the first time, I wasn't feeling them, but they're just so fun. They have a little cargo looking panel on the side here. On the other side, they have a Velcro pocket. So I thought I would give these a go. We'll see how long they last. Oh, and I forgot to mention those overalls were from the shop called the Thriftinista. They were a size extra large and they are $40. Next, we have another pair of overalls. While I'm on the overalls train, I decided to try and buy a pair of black overalls and a pair of denim overalls. And actually, searching on Poshmark for both of those items proved to be quite difficult. I didn't really have the best of luck, but I managed to find these and I got so excited. Number one, because they're a pair of black overalls, but number two, because they're from ASOS or ASOS. I'm not sure how you say it, but I've always been meaning to try them because a lot of people had said amazing things about the brand. And so I ordered these. They're by Noisy May which I believe is like one of the brands that they sell on ASOS. It says right here that they are a size extra large, but these do not anywhere near fit me. I think these are probably more like a size eight to 10 because I could not get them up over my ass. So they are stuck right down there. <laughs> they're not going anywhere and it sucks because they're brand new with tags like they have never been worn yet. I think what I might end up doing is giving these to Leah and see if they fit her because I think they would look really cute on her. I mean they're just such an adorable pair of black overalls. Look how cute these are. I mean they're just a standard black denim. They kind of have a little bit of a cargo-y look on the side. I just think they're adorable but they're not my size so they're not gonna fit. I do not know in what world those would be an extra large but that's what it says. This was from the shop called Meg 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 Stop. Okay. And the thing that's really frustrating about it is that I did pay $60 for these overalls. And obviously on top of this, you also have to account for shipping. So shipping, I think on Poshmark is like $7.99. And I think there are maybe taxes and fees or something. So probably pay close to 70 bucks for these, which is annoying, but whatever. I guess I didn't really pay for it, so it's not a big deal, but I used my credits and like, I worked hard for them. Next for an item that I actually do love is one from Madewell. I'll show it to you in a second, but I have been loving Madewell recently. However, I went there, I believe on my birthday, which is a couple days after Christmas, and I was just, I, are they okay over there? I saw a shirt much like this one. I, actually, this shirt is from Madewell. I got it um, on Black Friday online. I think it was less than $20. These necklaces are from Madewell. Like I actually really like Madewell because it's really good pieces that last a really long time. So I'm trying to invest in nicer pieces that will last me longer. But I saw a shirt with pretty much the identical cut to this one, but just with a different color scheme. And it was close to, I think it was $108. And I was like, what is going on here? So since Madewell is a little more mid-size inclusive, I wouldn't call it size inclusive because I think they only go up to a size 33 in jeans, but I was like, well, these will be some good pieces for me to invest in. So I did pick up this top. It is a purple kind of wrap top. It's slightly cropped. It has some peplum. It's in a size 14. I just think this is such a pretty, pretty shirt. And so this came from the shop called H-B-A-N-T-O-G. H band tog. I'm not sure. It was $40. And this did come new with tags. And I believe it was $88 or $83 with the tags on it. So pretty good steal, in my opinion. Next for my other Madewell item that I purchased. I think this is my favorite item of the entire haul, maybe. Actually, now I'm not sure. To be determined. But I picked up this pretty, pretty dress with strawberry print on it. I think this is so girly and adorable, but I love the idea of wearing this dress with my Doc Martens and a denim jacket over it. Just so 90s, so pretty. I got this in a size 14. I find that when stores have more accurate sizing, I'm more leaning towards a 14, but if there are stores that run a little bit smaller, I'm more like a 16. So this one, I think I got away with just fine in a 14. I think it's so pretty. I love the cream color. I love, love, love the strawberry print. It feels very retro and cute. And this dress was from the shop called N-I-S-S-A-C-D-J. Also new with tags. I did pull the tags, the original tags off of it and I got it for $35. So screaming deal if you ask me, especially for Madewell because it's so overpriced. Speaking of overpriced, I... <sighs> Where do I begin with this story? I purchased a pair of good American jeans, which you guys didn't know is Khloe Kardashian's jeans line. And one of my girlfriends a couple years ago was like, Carrie, you have to get a pair of American 
what is it called? <laughs> Good American jeans because she said they are the best, like most amazing looking jeans that I've ever worn in my entire life. You have to get some. So I did, I splurged on a pair and I never wore them because I washed them, they shrunk and they didn't fit me anymore. I did end up reselling them on Poshmark. So it's fine. I got a little bit, I guess more like half of what I paid for it, but it was kind of just a waste of about $80. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna use this as an excuse. Because I have these credits on Poshmark, I'm gonna try out another pair of good American jeans, but I'm going to size up because it seems to me that they run a little bit small. I might be confused here, but it's just the impression I got from the last pair. So these are called the Good American Good Legs Jeans. These are so, so cute. They do look really tiny, but they have a decent stretch to them. So hopefully they're gonna fit. They have a cute butt. And then I really, really loved the hem of these. I just think this frayed hem is so gorgeous. If you guys know me, you know I love a jean with holes on it. So it's got some holes down the front, nice and distressed. Because good American jeans are so expensive, I was really excited to find these for a steal of $60. I'm sure probably the original price of these was anywhere from like, 120 to 160 so saved about a hundred bucks and this is from underscore cfj underscore underscore boutique underscore Shout out to you, underscore. And next, oh my gosh. This might be my second favorite item. I did pick out two more Disney items for this haul and this one is another vintage Mickey shirt. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't know how vintage it is, but it's definitely not sold in stores right now. So I was happy about it. I love the colors. I love how oversized it is. Just perfect for those days where you just want to wear like an oversized sweatshirt, leggings, and Air Force Ones to Disney. That's kind of my go-to look. You just throw on your cute little ears and you're ready to go. I mean, what more can I say? Green and blue, love it. I actually have Mickey ears that have blue in it too, so that is really cute. This was $22, so in my opinion, pretty good for a vintage Disney sweatshirt. And this is from the seller Cardinal Revive. Okay, I promise I only got two more Disney items and then I'm done with Disney, but I just really like, especially because I've been going to Disneyland so much more lately, I really like wearing Disney clothes to Disneyland. I think it's really fun and cute. And so I did pick up this shirt, which is just something that I'm gonna wear under overalls. It's just a shirt with a mini print on it. I was really kind of unsure about this. It's a size extra large. I I don't know how I feel about this. Like I feel like I could make it cute, but it also feels kind of like you could buy it at Walmart, you know? I think my excuse for it was that it was free and that's like why I decided to go for it, but I ended up picking it up for $17. It's from the seller Legendary Looks. I mean, it's an authentic Disney shirt, so I think with this next item, this was like the vibe I had. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know. So I was thinking about pairing it with these overalls, which is a dress. This is a pair of Mickey overalls that is a dress. I just think it's gonna be so much fun, especially with this underneath that I thought might be kind of cute. Also, I might look like I'm 12. Whatever. I got this in a zero X and this is from the seller Mods and Live. This is from their shop. And actually like, I don't know how they knew this. Maybe they just knew my name, but when I purchased from their shop, they sent a little card saying that they watched my videos and they were really excited to sell these to me. So thank you to both of you for the nice card and for the overalls. Next we have a couple of band tees that I was really excited about because you know, I have a little bit of a problem with band tees. However, I just can never get enough and this one was was kind of a vintage-esque. I don't know how old it is, but it's definitely got some fading to it. And it is a Van Halen tee, which is one of my favorite band tees to wear. I just love me some Van Halen. I purchased this from the seller Ali Don Shops and I got it for $29. I do believe I made an offer because I think it was being sold for a little bit more. I think that's reasonable. I'll take it. I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of it. It has Atomic Punk on the back here. It can be worn oversized. It can be worn tucked in. I love it. The other tee, I guess it's not a band tee, but it's it's a vintage tee is this Harley Davidson shirt. I love, love this pocket on the front. Amazing. And then the back is really what sold me. It says Buffalo on it. I just think this is such a dope Harley shirt. I don't really have that many. I think I only have two. So this is going to be my third one. So I felt it was time to add another one into the collection. And this is a legit Harley tee. It is a size extra large, it's just nice and soft and already like worn in. You can tell it's old and I just, Love that. I'm a sucker for an old t-shirt. What can I say? This one was expensive. I'm not gonna lie. It was, oh God. Why did I, what would make me think that? Okay, <laughs> I'm not proud of this. It was $57. 
Okay. I think I kept using the excuse if I wasn't spending my own actual money and I was just using credits instead that it was acceptable, but now I'm just questioning everything. I mean, whatever. I got it from the seller LJ Mullen. I mean, I paid it, so who's the idiot? I love it and I'll get a lot of wear out of it, so it's fine. And then next we kind of have a little bit of a fail. So I saw this Tommy Hilfiger shirt, which looks like this. It is a just kind of like cozy, loose Tommy shirt. But what I didn't realize when I was buying this, and it was my fault because I didn't pay close enough attention, is this is actually like a mint green color, and I thought it was white. If I'd known it was mint green or teal, I would not have purchased it. It says vintage in the listing. I don't know how vintage it is because it definitely doesn't have a tag. It's printed on the inside of the shirt, which is how you can tell that it's a little bit more modern. It's from the seller Spiffy Hippie, and I got it for $30, which it's not their fault at all. It was me for not paying attention to the listing, but I'll still be able to like, you know, tie it up. I will find a way to wear it. Okay, next, here's my thing. <laughs> I think my expectations were too high for this next item. So I'll just kind of like tell you a little bit what it was called. So this next item listing said mystery band tees. And I got really, really excited because it said mystery band tees, top rated seller, which by the way, the seller is called Gray Crow Market. And so it basically said in the listing, you pay $25, I believe, $24. You can't request anything specific and you just basically get what you get and there's a bunch of reviews underneath it being like I love my shirt There are a ton of amazing amazing like vintage tea photos on here And so I was like, oh my gosh, this person has a plethora of amazing teas Of course, I'm gonna get a mystery band tea like that's gonna be so fun I can't wait to add a new vintage tea into my collection now didn't say vintage anywhere in it It just said band tea so that should have been my first clue first, but I think just after looking at the photos I just expected them to look like the photos that are advertised, but I should have known. Okay, here it is I'm gonna show you the mystery band tee that I got it is this Nirvana shirt, which isn't bad It really isn't bad. Like I definitely think it has potential, but it's from H&M um, The tag right here is literally <laughs> from H&M, so I'm pretty sure it was brand new when I washed it. Not exactly what I was expecting, but like I said, I think my expectations were set a little bit too high, so I will try and fade this. I will wear it. It's definitely a basic that you can have in your wardrobe. I do think a Nirvana tee is dope. I have nothing against the shirt. It just wasn't what I thought, you know what I mean? But still a cool shirt and I will definitely find a way to wear it. And then last but not least, I have two tank top basics. This first one is a tank from the BP section at Nordstrom. They did have it in an extra large. When you wear it, it kind of stretches out to be like a square neckline tank. And I just think this is so, so cute. It's kind of got that like ribbed material. This is from the seller name brand mama and I got it for $12 so not too bad not much else you can really say about it it's just a tank top and then last but not least I got an old navy tank top which I thought was cute it's kind of like 70s looking and I thought this would be cute tucked into some denim shorts in the summertime it is a size extra large it says it's more of a slim fit which I kind of like for tucking into high-waisted denim shorts in the summer and this was from the seller four elements and I got it for $10 so not too bad honestly I got one two three four five I got 15 items and I think I spent about five hundred dollars so I mean eh. is it a great deal I don't know you guys will have to let me know what you think I mean if you went to the mall and you bought 15 items it would definitely probably be around that much depending on where you went and how much you were paying some of these I think I definitely way overpaid some of these I think were pretty good deals some of these I'm not even gonna be able to use so I will have to give to family or friends but I don't know I thought it might be something fun to try I have gotten quite a decent amount of requests from you guys to do a Poshmark video so hopefully you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video if you enjoyed it I love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one bye